Emily, I heard. I heard your husband bought a sports car. Abigail, where the hell did you get that kind of information? I have a lot of mom friends. Even if I didn't want to, I couldn't help but hear it. So, so, how's the ride in a sports car? Must be fast, isn't it? It's amazing. I don't know if it's great. Well, it's pretty fast, that's for sure. My husband waited three years to buy that one. That's already taken care of. Wow, I see. I'm so jealous. What's that? Let me tell you something. My husband doesn't take strangers for rides. It took a month for even me to get a ride. Wow, that's great. That means he takes great care of it. That's what I mean. That's why you can't get in. Hmm, I see. Well, it doesn't matter to me. Huh? Because I'll be the one driving. Then it wouldn't matter whether I asked for his permission or not, right? Wait, what are you talking about? Did I just hear what was said? It's my husband's prized possession. You can't ride in it. I don't give a damn. I'm going to take a ride because I want to. I'll get in that sports car and zoom it across the country like in the States. It's not like that here though. I mean, don't just try to drive someone else's car. Oh, but I really want to drive it. Besides, it's not every day you find someone who drives a sports car. See? This is a good opportunity, right? I said no. I don't care how many times you say it. What's no good is no good. Damn, you're a narrow-minded person, aren't you? Well, okay. Even if you say that, I'll take what I can get. Huh? I'm the type who wants something even more, the more I get rejected, you see. If you're going to be that unreasonable, I'm going to do whatever it takes to take that car. You've got to be kidding me. It's a crime to take someone's car. It's not a crime because you only borrow a little. Please don't threaten people by calling it a crime anyway. Are you kidding? My husband would be so mad, and so would I. You must never take the car away. It would be a terrible thing to do. Yes, yes, go on and threaten me. I'm tired of hearing those verbal attacks. I'll definitely enjoy riding that sports car. I went too fast and crashed into a wall. It was so painful. <laughs> it's a sports car, but it's a wreck and doesn't run now, so forgive me. <laughs> we demand $450,000 for compensation. Huh? I told you it was a bad idea. I looked this morning and our car was not there. A little while later... I saw your call, and this. I can't even begin to express my dismay. I'll make sure you pay for it. What? Wait! No, no, no! $450,000? No way! It's not like it's $100,000 at most! You won't find a used car for that price. It's a very popular model sports car with a three-year waiting list. The price must be half of what it costs. That said... $450,000 is too much. The average person can't afford it. Yes, that's why I told you so many times not to take it from us. Because you'll make too much of a mess. Wait, you have to hear my side of the story too. I know it's a ridiculous argument, but... Well, let me ask you. What? No, I have a lot on my mind too. I stole a sports car. I did something bad. Huh? But still, after all, we're only human. When you see something you may never get to ride in your lifetime, it's hard to resist the urge to get on it. In other words, I can be forgiven this time. Get it? Why is the person who stole it trying to decide that on their own? Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding. That's because if someone has a sports car right in front of them that they could ride, of course they're going to want to ride it. Normal people, you know, even if it's a car they want to drive, they don't try to force themselves to get on. You're a psycho, a crazy person. Don't be rude about me being a crazy person. I mean, I'm the one who got hurt in the accident. Why don't you worry about that first? If you can say so painful and laugh and still be able to laugh about it, then it's no big deal, right? You're the one who did this to yourself. So, you deserve those injuries. Oh no, we're in the mom's club, right? So, why don't you at least worry about your friends? 
I'm worried. All I'm worried about right now is the car parts. I'm just wondering if there isn't at least some part of it that could still be useful. Oh no, that's terrible. You should be worried about your mom's club friends. There's no need to worry about thieves. Oh my god, people are gathering. If I don't do something, they'll think I'm guilty. I'm leaving the scene. What? Hey, stay right there. It's my husband's car. Don't leave it unattended. Because it's not my fault. To begin with, the car keys were left in the ignition. Isn't that your husband's fault? They don't have a sense of danger. What a joke. Normally, there's no such person who thinks that way and just up and tries to steal things. You are insane. Shut up. I know what you're doing. That's a psychological technique. Huh? What are you talking about? You see? You're trying to gaslight me into thinking that I'm the one in the wrong. Then you'll make me think I'm crazy. They say it's easier to manipulate that way. Wow, how scary. I see. That's what you mean. Are you stupid? What I'm saying now is that psychologically, I'm not trying to control you or anything because you're actually crazy. I'm letting you know that you're crazy. What? Don't be so rude. Like, you're the type of person who can tell me what? Don't leave the scene of the crime. Stay where you are. Sorry, I've already come a long way. The police won't even talk to me if I've come this far. Now, let's say you wreck that car. I think I'll do that. Huh? Why? You wanted to drive your husband's car, so you drove it on your own. The result is that you lost control and ran into a wall. What do you think? I'm sure everyone will agree with me on this one. You'll never convince anyone. Stop acting like an idiot and get back in there. I don't want to. I'm going to blame you for everything. Get ready. Oh, my god. No, 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 no. What's the matter? They're all coming this way. What? What's wrong? What? The police are even here? Why? I left the scene of the crime. Ah, uh, someone must have been nearby and saw you get out of the car. So the police came after you based on that sighting. Jeez, it can't be. It's not my fault. I gotta get away. How long do you think you can get away with this? No, you will pay for your sins. I'm not kidding. It's not my fault. You're going to say it's my or my husband's fault again? It's not our fault. Because you stole our car. It's your fault. No, 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 no. It's because the key was left in the car. So isn't that not normal and dangerous? No matter how you look at it, it's common sense. Getting robbed because you didn't lock your house is something to feel mad about. Huh? Even if you didn't lock your house and a burglar came in, the one at fault isn't the one who forgot to lock the house. Of course, it's the thief's fault. Like, why do I have to be told that the people who are protecting themselves are in the wrong? Because! Isn't it usually the one who attacked first, the bad guy? No, you're the one who's bad. Don't put the blame on me. Oh, my god! Why do I have to go through this all the time? Enough! This is our last resort. What? What are you doing? I'm going to your house and I'm going to tell the police that you told me to do it. That way, the police will be able to question you. They're going to bring you in. Huh? What are you thinking? It's your fault. All you do is say things that offend me. I'll be damned if I'm not going to get even with you. You've got to be kidding me. It's your fault and you're trying to blame me for it? People who do bad things like that, you know, eventually, somehow, they're going to be brought to justice. Hmm, that's what you call being a sore loser, isn't it? It's so ugly. I know you're in a hurry now because you think you're going to get duped by me. Hurry, hurry. Since you have made slanderous statements against me, you won't get away without a scratch. I seriously don't know what you're talking about. It's your fault. You're trying to make it sound like it's my fault. If you hadn't stolen that sports car, this never would have happened in the first place. Shut up. Everyone wants to drive a sports car. If you just let me ride the sports car, everything would have been fine. And yet you keep harping on and on and on and on. Enough is enough. Why do I have to be told like that when I'm the one who got robbed and had my stuff broken? Because it's your fault. Oh my god, my head is spinning. My husband just got home. Oh my, just in time. Tell your husband I wrecked the car. 
go ahead and tell him I'm so sorry. I wouldn't say that. I made sure to let the mom's club know that you stole it and broke our car. Huh? Hey, what are you doing? It's not my fault. I'm sorry, but my husband is really furious. He knows how much damage you've done. He says he'll call the police right away. Be prepared. Oh no, I'm being chased by the police right now. If you call the police, I'll have nowhere to run. I'm rather surprised you thought you could get away with it. You can't just run away. You're so stupid. Shut up, damn you. It's not my fault. Don't do this to me. Why don't you just give up? I don't want to. Ah, uh, oh no, the police are after me again. Look, I'm almost at the end of my rope. I think you better give up and get caught. I told you, I don't want to. It's your fault, it's not my fault. No matter how much you blame others, the fact that you're wrong doesn't go away. That's why the police are after you. If you do something wrong, no amount of deception will help. You're going to get your just desserts and eat them. Judgment? This is just unreasonable. I was only curious about riding a sports car, that's all. Because even if you ask your husband, he wouldn't give me a ride. That's why I had to make that choice. No, not at all. If you really wanted a ride, just buy a regular sports car. There's no way I can do that, can I? Use your common sense. But this time, I'm going to have you pay $450,000 as compensation. So if you're thinking of not paying for it, it'll be the same as if you bought a regular one, okay? There's no way I could pay that, that much money. No matter how much you say you can't pay, we will make you pay. It's your responsibility. It's punishment for what you did. No way, absolutely not. Why should I have to go through this? Ah, the cops are after me again. I can't take this anymore. Yes, yes, you should just give up. You must be tired of running away from them. Oh no, this is not fair. This is unreasonable. Why am I in this mess? Abigail kept throwing a tantrum, but she finally gave up and decided to pay for the damages. Of course, paying $450,000 in cash is a lot of money. There was no way she could do it, so she borrowed money to pay it back. Of course, if you borrow such a large sum of money, the interest will be great, so Abigail and her husband will have to work like slaves for the rest of their lives. Well, she wrecked a sports car, so she should have been prepared to do that. By the way, I have been driving the sports car that has since been reimbursed from time to time. Sure. It's a lot faster, but since we are in Japan, we don't have to go that fast. I use it in a normal way. My husband would rather have had that instead of someone else breaking it too. He seems to have changed his opinion on letting me drive. Avery, are you awake? Mila, what? Calling me this early in the morning? It's already noon! What? Really? Or more importantly, don't you remember your plans for today? Plans? Oh, you mean the promise to go to lunch with my mom's friends at noon today. I remember. Then why don't you come? Everyone's been waiting a long time. Because it's not morning yet. I told you, it's lunchtime! Oh, really? Are you sleepwalking? Hmm, I'm pretty sure I haven't had enough sleep yet. Yeah, did you stay up late last night? Hmm, I think I went to bed around midnight. You're getting a normal night's sleep. If you go straight to bed, you've almost slept for half a day. Let me sleep for at least half a day. No, usually no matter how much sleep I get. It's okay though, because it's not our business. You promised me today. But I drank a lot of alcohol yesterday. I see. Are you hungover? Maybe not. I have a headache. Oh dear. But if you're not feeling well, I can't ask you to come. Yes, I want you to keep checking in on me. It, sorry. Huh? It's really because of the stress you guys put me under. I'm getting an extra headache. Huh? Is it our fault? Yes, I'm going to need some headache medicine and something to eat right now. Can you get me some? Huh? Why would I do that? Because you made it worse. You're going to have to do at least that. Yeah, even if you say so, I'm having lunch in front of the station right now. You can't- It's not impossible. It's your fault, so get on with it. Even if you say that- Oh, my head hurts. 
I feel like the stress just keeps getting worse and worse. It's bad enough to drink so much that you get a hangover in the first place. What's wrong with you? You can't blame me. The drinks were so good. Adults know that they have to restrain themselves from drinking too much delicious alcohol. If you can't do that, then make it so the next day you don't have plans. Shut up. That's not up to me. Why should I bother to be told by you? If you're not late for an appointment like today, I wouldn't say that either. I'm telling you this because you're late. That can't be helped. I've got a hangover. That's why I try not to get so drunk. I told you. Oh, shut up already. Oh my god, I got a headache from all the yelling. It's a text, so there's no sound. But it hit me right in the head. You should come visit me soon. I'm not going. If you don't show up, I'll say you made me sick. I'm going to tell the whole neighborhood, okay? Huh? Wait a minute. That's not right. If you feel that way, come visit me. If you don't show up, I'll tell everyone tomorrow. Okay, I'll wait for you. Hey, Avery, are you listening? My fellow mom's friend, Avery, is very loose with her time. Whenever we have a promise to go somewhere, she never arrives at the meeting place without being late. This lunch was no exception. Furthermore, she even asked me to come visit her. Leela, good morning. Good morning, Avery. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling better, thanks to you. Thanks for yesterday's headache medicine. It's nothing. Thank you so much for your help. I had so many headaches I thought I'd sleep all day. Okay. Oh, by the way, about that lunch I missed. Can we go tomorrow to make up for it? Yes, but are you sure you want to come? What is that? Are you trying to tell me I'm not coming? Yes, because you're always late. Yesterday, not only were you late, but you didn't even show up. You even made me take care of you, so I doubt it. You're leaving me out just because of that? Just because of that? Even if I'm coming late, just give me a little bit of time to get there. If I don't come, why don't you just eat and go home on your own? Not if it's just the two of us, but all of us? I don't see why we should bother waiting then. I'd rather eat at home than go to a restaurant and eat alone. Oh god, shut up. Forget it. We'll go tomorrow. I don't know if that's what you want me to say. I'm going. If you don't come, you won't be able to keep your promise. I'll tell everyone that you're the worst human being I've ever met. What? Why? I mean, isn't that you? Huh? When have I ever failed to keep a promise? It was only yesterday! Yesterday couldn't be helped. I was hungover. I was willing to keep my word. It doesn't matter if you're willing to keep it if you can't. Besides, you've been late a lot in the past. You haven't been able to keep your word at all. Don't dwell on the past. Don't bring this up at every turn. I got into the point where I have to bring it up. You keep saying things that I don't like. You really do have a bad personality. That's my line. Anyway. Whatever you want, come to lunch tomorrow. I wanted to have lunch with everyone too, so tell everyone else. Even if you say that so suddenly, we don't know if our schedules will work out. Tomorrow is still impossible. It's not impossible. When I say tomorrow, we'll go tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, come tomorrow. If you don't show up, I'll spread rumors all over the neighborhood. Wait, wait a minute. You can't say that to me. Are you listening? In the end, I couldn't turn down Avery's recklessness. The next day, we decided to go to lunch. The fact that she still kept doing the same thing over and over really made me mad. Good morning, Mila. Oh, Avery, good morning. Isn't it a beautiful day today? Yeah. A nice day like this makes me want to go camping. That's true, but I don't think we should. And why is that? Then, you're in trouble today. Trouble? What are you talking about? What? Today is camp day, right? How do you know? I know. Of course I know. I mean, why didn't you invite me? What? Well, it's a family camping trip. Funny how that's the reason not to ask me out, isn't it? Why? On the other hand, isn't it strange to invite you on my family's vacation? It's not strange. 
Because aren't I already close enough to be considered family? Is that right? It's not like we have that kind of relationship. If anything, we're not that close, are we? Huh? What's that? We are close. I guess so. Anyway, there's no way you can go camping without me. I'm in. Uh, wait a minute. A punishment for excluding me from the group. You should take care of the camp barbecue and payment. Don't be silly. Why would I do that? You left me out of your group. I don't see why I should be punished like that. Don't bother us. Bother you? You're a little cocky for leaving me out like this. I didn't mean to exclude you from the group. I wasn't planning to invite you in the first place, so please don't come. That's a tall order. Not by force, not by any means. I can't, because I'm already at the campground. What? You're already here? Of course I am. Where is the tent? I need to make my bed today. What are you talking about? There's no such thing. Huh? What do you mean? I changed my reservation from camping to a hotel today. What? Why? The weather turned bad this evening, and I heard that the water from the river around the campground could rise. We only changed our accommodations. The water rising? That's not good. I mean, it's already starting to rain. What? Really? I guess we'll have to cancel the barbecue then. Hey, wait a minute. Where am I supposed to stay now? I don't know. You're on your own. But if the water is going to rise, you can't stay at the campground. Tell me about your hotel. I don't want to. Why not? We're friends, right? Help me. That's all you do when things get bad. I don't have a choice. I don't want to be without a place to sleep or something. Then why don't you just go home? I don't have the money to go home. Then why did you come? I was going to have you treat me or something. Huh? You're really dumb. How dare you? That's enough. You don't have to tell me. Oh, you gave up? Of course not. I'll join you when you come to the barbecue. Huh? What are you talking about? What? It started raining today, so the barbecue is cancelled. What? Then there's no time for me to join you? Isn't that obvious? Or rather, don't join us. Wait a minute. I can't go home. I'll get carried away by the river. Have your husband pick you up or something. Even though the rain started earlier than expected, I think it's not too late. Oh no. If I tell my husband, he'll be furious. I don't know. Just take it on the chin. Well, we're off to see the sights. Wait a minute. I really can't leave. If the water rises, I'll get swept away. Help me. Please help me. I don't want to die. Please help me. After that, it seemed that Avery got so afraid of the rising water levels that she contacted her husband. As a result, although they were able to escape the rising water, her husband was furious with her and she was grounded for a while. Thanks to that, I'm no longer involved with her, and I've blocked all incoming calls. I no longer hear from them and live in peace.